Glenn Law responds to Jagbio, a call for accountability and change. In a powerful address, Glenn Law has called out Vice President Jagdio for his track record of mismanagement and the detrimental impact on the nation's resources. Law emphasizes the urgent need for accountability as Guyana stands on the brink of unprecedented wealth from its oil reserves. Look what they have done, Law stated, highlighting the loss of vital resources like bauxite, timber, manganese, gold, and diamonds. All for what? Not even crumbs for the people. Law criticized Jagdio referring to him as a complete failure who has taken charge of managing Guyana's trillion-dollar oil business without any real oversight. You feel you're in good hands, he questioned, pointing out that the government has not even installed its own meters at the pumps. Instead, we're told we can read Exxon's meters, as if that makes sense. He raised serious concerns about the partnership with Exxon, stating, we have no say in how Exxon spends or distributes billion-dollar contracts. This is madness. How can we sit silently in our own country, watching our wealth being managed without our input? Law urged citizens to demand change, declaring, if we can't question how our partner is spending money, it's time to walk away. We must not allow this insanity to continue. He further accused Jagdio of being complicit in facilitating the looting of Guyana's resources. If you were truly uncomfortable with the contracts signed by the previous administration, why haven't you made any changes? Lol challenged Jagdio. Not a single adjustment has been made to rectify the glaring issues in our resource management. As the nation faces critical decisions about its future, Lol's message is clear. The people of Guyana deserve transparency, accountability, and a fair share of their own resources. Their families and the generations to come for them. Look what they have done. They have given away our bauxite, our timber, our manganese, our gold, our diamonds. Ask yourself, all for what? Not even crumbs. This man, Jack Dill, Uncle and Auntie, has been a complete failure his whole life. Walking around in nice suits, looking sharp, while delivering rags to this nation. His track record is littered with failure after failures. And now today, he put himself in charge of managing our trillion dollar oil business. You feel you in good hands there? Huh? Not even putting our own meters at the pumps. Then he got the nerve to tell the nation, oh, we can read eggs on meters. Like that makes sense. He out there telling us that Guyana has no say in how Exxon spends or hands out billion dollar contracts to their friends and families and we are in a 50 50 partnership business <laughs> my brothers and sisters this is complete madness i don't know how long you people will take it this madness has gone to a whole new level. <clears throat> it's pure lunacy going on in this country. And this has to change. Guys, when you in a business and you don't even have a say in how half of it running, it's time you call it quits. If you can't even question how your partner spending the money in the business, then just tell them to take everything and go, man. Not true, brother? If you have no say, just take it and go. 
<laughs> How can we sit silent in our own country with our own wealth and let this insanity continue, man? Hmm? It's like he's in bed with Exxon, setting the stage not only to shortchange the people of this country, but to facilitate the looting of our resources by Exxon and all the others. <clears throat> Uncle, if this man was really uncomfortable with that contract the PNC signed, why no changes to the Starbuck block? Eh? Not a single adjustment. Not even the most obvious wrongs. This man is making a move to correct. 